In this video, I will show you how I automate the process of getting the emails of hundreds of highly targeted local businesses in three simple steps. Step one, I open Google Maps and I search for the businesses I want to get the emails of. For example, restaurants in San Francisco. Now the Google Maps search result of each business provides some useful information about the business such as their address, their opening hours, their uh, website and their phone number, but it doesn't provide the email. And this is something that uh, I need to find by opening up the website of the business and search through the pages to see if I'm able to spot their email. Uh, let's see, it usually is on the contact page. There we go, that's their email right there. But this process takes forever, right? It's not scalable. Therefore, to automate it, I move to step two, where I use a scraper to extract all the information I need for each business. The tool I use is called Phantom Buster, and I'm going to put a link to a free trial in the description below if you want to follow along. Here's how I use it. I sign into my Phantom Buster account, and then I go to the solutions page here. Then I search for Google Maps, and then I select this option here, which doesn't only extract the information that is available for the business on Google Maps, but it also scrapes the business website in order to identify and extract the email address. I click here to use it. And then in the configuration, the first thing I do is provide the scraper with the Google Maps search URL that contains the results of the businesses that I want to scrape. So I go to Google Maps, I make sure that I first perform the search that contains the businesses that I want to get the information of. And then I simply copy the URL and paste it here, right? So this instructs a scraper to go on Google Maps, perform the same search, and then extract every single business um, in that search. Now, if I click save here, you will see that the maximum number of results I can scrape per search is 120. And this is actually a Google Maps limitation because when you search, when you perform any search on Google Maps, the maximum number of results you will get is 120. Now, in the case where I want to extract more than 120 businesses, uh, in the city, right? Because as you can see here, I'm trying to get all the restaurants in San Francisco, but I'm actually only getting restaurants around this area here. If I want to get, uh, if I want to make sure that I'm getting the restaurants of the entire city, uh, what I need to do is perform multiple searches, right? So I would need to instruct the scraper to scrape this part of the air, uh, the city, then go to this part here, perform another search, then go to this part, perform another search, then go to this part, perform another search, and so on. This is the process I would need to follow in order to extract more than 120 uh, businesses that meet my criteria within um, a city. Now, how do I instruct the scraper to do that? I simply create a Google Sheet. I name it something like restaurants in San Francisco. I create a column called Google Maps search URLs. And then under this column, I copy and paste the search URL of every area of the city that I want to scrape. Let me show you exactly how to do that. So here is the first area that I want to scrape. So I simply copy and paste the URL right there. Then I move to the next area that I want to scrape. I copy and paste the URL. Then I move to the next area I want to scrape. I copy and paste the URL. And then the next area that I want to scrape here, I copy and paste the URL. Now, if you take a close look, you can see that the coordinates in each one of these URLs is different. So that's how the scraper will know that each one of these is an individual search that it needs to perform. Now to share this Google Sheet with the scraper, I simply click on share, then I change this to anyone with the link to make it publicly accessible. I copy the link and then I go back to the scraper to the main page. So the first page of the configuration here and I paste the URL there. So now the scraper will be able to access this Google Sheet 
and perform the individual searches. Next, we click Save. Again, this has to be uh, 120 in order to extract the maximum number of results per search. And then in the next step, this is where I configure the website scraper. So this is the scraper that will go through the business website and try to identify and extract the email address. But I also have the option to extract other uh, pieces of information, such as the Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and any phone numbers that are available on the, on the website. Since we're trying to scrape businesses in the United States, any phone numbers that we retrieve need to be in United States format. Save. And now the scraper is ready to be launched. So now step three of the process, all I need to do is click here to launch the scraper and wait for it to extract all the local business information that I specified. Phantom Buster is a cloud-based tool, so I can close the window, go do something else, and come back when it's done to find my results on this page. And the way you access this page, if you click somewhere else, let's say we're in the dashboard, the way that I access the results page is by clicking on the Phantom. Here we are. All right, so the data scraping is in progress. Up until now, you can see that 180 businesses have been scraped. Out of those, 104 websites have been scraped. And you can see down here in the results, we have the business name, their website, the phone number, the, the email address. And then in some cases, we also have um, links to the social media pages. Let's go through here. As you can see, there's many pages with results. And then at any point, I can also go ahead and uh, download a CSV of the results, which makes it very easy to then go uh, ahead and upload it to, let's say, a Google Sheet. So if I want to import uh, that information in a Google Sheet, I can just upload the exported results file, import it uh, in a new sheet, import data, and there we have it. And also here is the list of emails that we were able to scrape. There we go. So that's how I automate the process of getting the Google Maps information and emails of a targeted list of local businesses. If you want to try Phantom Buster, I'm going to put a link in the description. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to help you out. With that said, I'll see you on the next video.